everyone. Welcome to another five minute chess game. I believe I lost my last game. So brutal. Um, we're playing an IM from India. I believe that's the Indian flag. Um, what do I do here? Oh, pawn takes. All right, I gotta remember to make the right moves because sometimes I, I kind of mess things up here. But not this time, man. Not this time. This time I'm gonna play all the right moves. Like knight f3, bishop c4. I'm thirsty. Um, queen c6 is standard. That isn't. But I'm sure it's okay. You know, this position generally is pretty playable for black, even if you do the wrong thing. Um, so that's interesting. What do I do about this? Hmm. Give me a second, guys. I want to make a good move here for some reason. I'm just going to go like this. I don't know what to do. If, if b5, I'm going to go bishop to d3. Oh, you didn't do a b5. Uh, I'm going to go knight e4 then. Because when he takes and I take, um, it stops him from playing b5. If he takes. Maybe he'll go bishop to e7, for example. But he took. So b5 is not playable, which is nice. I can't go rook d1, which is somewhat annoying. But what can you do? Bishop f4. It's a good developing move. Um, I have nice attacking chances in this kind of line. In my opinion, I, I always I, I sort of like it. So how can I generate an attack? I don't know. I'm just going to go bishop f4. bad can this be? Like, all my pieces are developed. Almost none of his are. So, I think it's like, um, some kind of advantage for white. Rook to d1. You know, it seems like a pretty appropriate move. Bishop d3 doesn't do so much. So, I'll just, I'll attack his queen. And, so now what? Knight e5 somehow looks good to me. If he takes, I was going to take with a queen and play the end game, but maybe that's that's not a good idea. <laughs> maybe it's just kind of too close to even. I should have some edge. Let me think. Knight takes, queen takes, queen takes, bishop takes. Rook d8, and then like bishop e2 to f3 or something. I mean, it looks nice to me, but I don't know how nice. I'm, I'm going to do it, though. It's at least a small advantage. Just, uh, um, the key is getting my bishop to f3. It's a nice little maneuvering idea. Why am I playing this way? Well, the guy's a pretty strong player, and I figure it's like a kind of a risk-free way to play for a win. You know, like, he has problems to solve. I don't. I mean, I can just play pretty quickly. So, like, what might happen is he might fight his way back to equality, but he might find himself in down two minutes on the clock, you know? He can't go bishop to b7 because of rook to d7, so this is really annoying. Um, I mean, maybe he can just go... I don't know. If, if rook d8, bishop f3, he has rook a7. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, bishop f3, rook a7, bishop b8, rook d7. Bishop to d4, threatens to win the exchange. It's actually a mildly annoying move. Uh, I'm just going to do it. Because I'm threatening... Oh god, I'm just an idiot. I can go bishop to d7 now. Well then at least I, I have bishop to d6, which is like something. But it was a horrible move. I, I just totally forgot he can now play bishop to d6. Whatever, I'm going to move fast now because the clock... <laughs> Oh, that was stupid. Uh, we're just it's just even now. It was just a horrible move. Mm, I'm just going to play technically. Uh, I'm going to try to use my time advantage now. Maybe a 4 is better, but I'm playing safe for a minute. So 
Such a noob. All right. Well, I got an active king. Again, I'm really gonna try to use my time here as, as much as I can. Uh, rook h4 any good, or should I just play backwards? I'm gonna go back. He'll go rook to. Uh, so is b4 is not really anything to worry about, right? F4? No, it's stupid. Oh, maybe it's okay. All right, I guess I can put my bishop somewhere, like on F3 or something. Oh, he really wants to go B4, huh? Prophylactic. <laughs> uh, it's just a weird move. I don't know. Just to make him think twice about B4. You know, because he has to come up with a plan or something. I have a minute edge on the clock. That's all I'm going for at this point, because I know I have no advantage. That's a good move, though. This looks appropriate. So what if I go a4? Mm, oh, it's a horrible move. Hold on a second. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Well, I don't know what to do. And he's catching up on the clock, so I gotta be real. Not. I gotta. I gotta be careful. I have to stay ahead on time. Pawn's opposite color of his bishop. Stop at four. At some point I might go rook to e1, but I'm, I'm waiting until I'm sure it makes sense. Uh, hmm. Rook e1's interesting. Take, take, and then I'm attacking. Like, I should just go a4, right? Active rook. If he goes b4, I take, I have a path to a pawn. Didn't even think about that move. Um. All right. I mean, his rook's passive if he goes rook c5, so that's something to be happy about. Um, now I want to go king to d4. I'm a little better here, but probably, I don't know, i got to be a little careful. But probably I'm, my chances to win are good. Uh, I assume he can't trade rooks. It seems hard to believe. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm so stupid because I was the whole the whole time I was gonna remember about that move. But where am I going here? Let's start with this. Oh, interesting. Attacking his f pawn, which is useful information. All right, very good winning chances. Because okay, whatever. I have that one. I'm just gonna make a queen now. And it, it worked out the way I wanted it to, pretty much. He resigns. Um. He was only provisional, so I don't get all my points, but, you know, I, I, I generated some small edge in the opening, and then I kind of, like, botched it up. But I had the minute on the clock, which is really important. So, I'm not in this position. I mean, bishop d4 is horrible. Like, I should have some small edge if I just make, you know, any random move. It's nothing major, but no, it's just lower than I thought, actually. But yeah, this was kind of silly. C4, I mean, that would have made more sense. I just didn't see it. But yeah, I was just equal after that. Um, the opening, I was also definitely better. I mean, Houdini prefers this move by quite a bit. All right, maybe not the best choice, but you know, I had I had the edge in the clock. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. It's hard to say what happened, whether my strategy was best or not. Um, 
it worked out this time, you know, getting that simple position allowed me that allowed it that even when he gained equality, I still had that minute edge. I was able to use that to annoy him and eventually won on the board. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.